In a move towards inclusivity, the European Space Agency has named the first ever para-astronaut. This is a major step towards allowing people with physical disabilities to work and live in space. The selected candidate will be part of a new generation of 17 recruits picked for astronaut training. However, he has to go through several tests designed to assess the conditions needed for them to take part in future missions. Here's a report. John McFall has been named the world's first para-astronaut. He's a British Paralympic sprinter and doctor who lost his leg in a biking accident when he was 19. Now he's part of a new generation of recruits picked by the European Space Agency for astronaut training. I felt compelled to try and help ITSA uh, answer this question, can we get someone with a physical disability uh, to do meaningful work in space? The ESA posted openings last year for the role of astronaut with a disability and received 257 applications. Candidates were to be fully capable of passing its usual stringent psychological, cognitive tests and only prevented from becoming astronauts due to the constraints of existing hardware in light of their disability. Diversity it comes in many different ways. David Parker is the ESA's Director of Human and Robotic Exploration. Of course, to be an astronaut is a very exclusive thing to be, but having a disability shouldn't rule you out. And that was really part of this very special project that we launched in this process. McFall will take part in a feasibility study with the ESA to determine the changes in hardware needed for people with disabilities to take part in future missions. I think the message that I would give uh, to future generations is that science is for everyone and space travel, hopefully, Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.